Everybody, I'm Marcus. I'm Ryan. And together, we are the Northwest North Sports Fanatics. Fanatics. Week one of the NFL season is in the books. We want to uh, update you guys on some of our standout players and also give you a, a couple of games to look forward to uh, this upcoming weekend. Now, I'll kick it off on the offensive side of the ball. And uh, who else would I start with besides Peyton Manning? What a game, man. 27 for 42, 462 yards, and an NFL record, seven TDs. Well, he tied the NFL record with seven TDs. Uh, we all know Peyton can get it done in the regular season, but it's the, the postseason that, that haunts him there. Yeah. Uh, he's off to an MVP start, and he's looking for his record, fifth MVP and most important, his second Super Bowl. Yeah, and no picks, and he would be the first quarterback to win Super Bowls of two separate teams if he does. That's a shout out to Peyton. Uh, keep doing your thing. Um, second, I, I got two players here. Uh, first, I'll go with uh, Colin Kaepernick. Wow, wow, what a game, man! Twenty-seven for thirty-nine, four hundred and twelve yards, three TDs, no picks as well. Mm -hmm. um, in the win over Green Bay, um, I think I. Me, as well as a lot of people, we under ed, underestimated his ceiling. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's scary, you know, to think about how good he's going to get because this is really his first full year as a starter. Mm -hmm. And uh, his new weapon he got out there, Anquan Bolden. Wow. 13 receptions, 208 yards, one touchdown. And uh, as they, they get more rapport, mm -hmm. as the year goes along, get Crabtree back, yeah. Vernon Davis, Frank Gore. Man, that 49er offense is looking scary. And we haven't even seen LeMichael yet. Ah, man. Shout out to Rick Gatewood, man. Y'all you, you y'all got something good out there in the Bay Area. Um, my my third, third I'm going to go with uh, a couple of receivers. They all had big games. A.J. Green, Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver. To me, he's the second best receiver in the NFL. Nine receptions, 162 yards, two TDs, and uh, the close loss uh, to the to the Chicago Bears out there. Uh, Andy Dalton, you know, you had a pretty good game, and you got a nice weapon to throw to out there. I got to go with your boy out in the Bay, Vincent Jackson, yeah, B-Jax. He had a nice game, seven receptions, 154 yards. You know, y'all lost a heartbreaker to the Jets. Yeah. But, you know, it's the NFL. Those things do happen. Come back next week, have a, a, another performance, and uh, hopefully y'all can get in that win column. I got to go out to St. Louis, to the Lou, Jared Cook. Wow. Tight end they picked up from the Tennessee Titans. You know, give Sam Bradford uh, some new weapons there. Um, seven receptions, 141 yards, two TDs. And he could have had a third TD mm -hmm. if it wasn't for Honey Badger poking that ball out to him as he was getting uh, close to the end zone. My fourth player, I'm going to go back to the Bay Area, Terrell Pryor. Yeah. Wow. He, he gives the Raiders some hope out there. Uh, 19 for 29, 65% completion percentage. Um, 217 yards, one TD, two picks. He also rushed 13 times for 112 yards. He almost pulled off the upset against the Colts. He had a crucial pick at the end, which kind of shows that he's still a young QB and he's still learning. But once he get it down packed, man, watch out for Terrell Pryor out there. Yep, should have started him last year. Hey, they, they wanted to go with Carson, man. Yeah. You know, but, you know, Terrell Pryor, you 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 well on your way as yep. the, the dynamic of the QB is changing. Yep. And uh, you you sooner we're gonna have to include Terrell Pryor in that in that in that uh, that group of QBs mm -hmm. with the Russell and the Kaepernick yep. and RG threes. Uh, last, ah oh, man, it hates me to say it, but Lashawn Shady McCoy, what a game he had, man! Thirty-one rushing attempts, hundred and eighty-four yards, one TD in that new Chip Kelly offense. You know, he had some nice runs, kind of some, some video game runs, man. Yeah. Like he was he was playing Madden out there. Uh, the spins, the jukes, the hurdles. Yeah. Um, if you, you follow the Chip Kelly offense at Oregon, you know, he his running backs have good years. Uh, LaMichael James, Kenyon Barner, LeGarrette Blunt. So his backs always have big numbers. And uh, it shouldn't be no different with uh, Shady McCoy because I put him a step higher then those uh, LaMichael James and yep. Kenyon Bonner, no disrespect to them, but uh, they just not shady out there. Now, um, I would say look for him to maybe rush for 2,000 this year. I mean, to be honest with you, if he keeps up this kind of pace and doesn't get injured, 2,000 yards, I don't think it would be that crazy to talk about, to be honest with you. Yeah, he definitely can do it, but uh, another thing is he, he got to stay healthy too. That's true. Let me knock on wood. I don't, I don't wish no injury on no man. I think Adrian Peterson has some competition though this yeah. year. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I think based on his running, I mean, he almost had 200 yards yeah, the first game. You know is Chip, he going to do that every game? No, but I mean, it looks pretty good so far. Yeah, and you know Chip going to run that ball too. Yeah. So. 
Now, uh, what about you on the defensive side of the ball? Some of your standouts wow. there? All right. Well, I got. I'm going to start off with uh, obviously the secondary. I'm going to go with some standout players, and I'm going to go to linebackers who made some plays. So first, I'm going to go Laron Landry, former Redskin, former Jet from last year, Pro Bowler. Colts decided, hey, we need some defensive help. Let's pick you up. He got 10 tackles, 5 assisted in that first game. Um, Raiders almost pulled off the upset, mm -hmm. but with those key tackles towards the end of the game, Landry, obviously I salute you. You know, stay healthy yeah. this year. You look great, and uh, obviously one of the better safeties in the league. Next, I'm going to go Dimitri Patterson from the Dolphins. He plays corner. He's a no-name player, but obviously with the Browns, with Whedon, there was so much hype in that preseason. Mm -hmm. Is he going to you know turn up? Is he going to take it to that next level? Not yet. I mean, it looked like he was on that corner about to turn yeah. that page, but just not yet. But he had two picks, obviously, on Whedon, and that really sealed the deal for them. They won 23-10. to 10. Um, Look for him to keep progressing as they move forward. They did lose a lot of pieces yeah. in free agency, the Dolphins did. Next, I'm going to go with the Bears. The big reason the Bears beat the, obviously, Cincinnati Bengals, yeah. A.J. Green played great, Dalton played great, but Charles Peanut Tillman, cornerback, and yeah. Tim Jennings. Probably the best duo cornerback tandem yeah. in the league. It's very arguable. Yeah, yeah. But obviously with Peanut Tillman, he had five tackles, two picks. That's huge, obviously, with your five tackles and two picks. Tim Jennings had a great game, too. Six tackles, two forced fumbles. I mean, can you ask for any more stat-wise from two corners, you know, going into this league in your first game? So I think these guys are destined for maybe another Pro Bowl year, mm -hmm. you know, for both these corners, you know, even though Jennings is a smaller name. But they really complement each other really well. Oh, well. Good leadership yeah. with no Erlacher there, even though Lance Briggs is taking that role, obviously, of the leader. Now, next, I'm going to go with the rookie, Tyron Matthew, Honey Badger. Honey Badger. Honey Badger played great, right. you know, in his first game. He plays safety slash cornerback. He had seven tackles and a forced fumble against mm -hmm. Jared Cook, mm -hmm. top three tight end, I think, now, obviously, oh, yeah. in the league. And Tyron Matthew, I'm, I didn't know if you were maybe good enough to win rookie of the year on the defensive side. Mm -hmm. But if any player other than a linebacker wins the award, you might have to consider him, mm -hmm. you know, based on his stat line. Uh, obviously played great. Um, they did obviously lose the game, you know, to the Rams, last second field goal, but that wasn't Honey Badger's fault. Yeah. I mean, he's doing everything he can, staying out of trouble, not smoking, obviously keeping his head straight, you know, so that's good for him with Patrick Peterson, mm -hmm. you know, obviously mentoring him along the way. Next, last one I have to go for the secondary, Earl Thomas, or Earl Thomas the <laughs> third, since you're adding little numbers to your name now in your jersey, but um, play safety, he's a pro bowler, everyone knows him, probably the best in the country, mm -hmm. you know, it's very arguable there, eight tackles, one forced fumble, um, you barely, barely squeaked out a win against Carolina, 12-7, to seven, but you were in Carolina, you did have to fly all the way to the East Coast, East Coast yeah, you had a morning really game, well. so that had something to do with it, and uh, Seahawks look a little flat, but you can tell Carolina's D is on the uprise, yeah, yeah. you know, with Keekley and some of these players that they have started to Atele, yeah, so Charles Johnson on the DN, so obviously Earl Thomas had a huge game, that helped them obviously get that victory towards the end, and then I'm going to transition now into linebackers, a lot of them had some really good games, my favorite, Luke Keekley, mm -hmm. obviously he didn't have the greatest game, but six tackles, three assisted, mm -hmm. pretty good, we expect him to get some forced fumbles, some picks, that'll come, as obviously the season moves forward, but he had a pretty good game. Almost got that victory against the Seahawks, so nothing to be Close. ashamed of. Yeah. I mean, NFC South is very competitive, so shout out to Luke Keekley. I think uh, you know defensive rookie of the year is not far from your reach. Next, I got to go, obviously, Zach Brown. And this is a name of a player you might not really know. He's on the Titans. He's a linebacker. He had eight tackles, two sacks. Mm. And those sacks were really critical, obviously, winning. You know, in your key game, obviously, the Steelers, you know, had Marquise Pouncey go, go down. ACL, MCL injury, their season might be over. Uh, I don't want to call it too early, but that was a huge win for them to pick up. So look for him and the rest of the Titan crew. C2K, Chris Johnson, you know, going to race a cheetah soon. Uh, we'll see how obviously fast he really is. But obviously Tennessee, I don't think is a playoff team. But look for them to win uh, maybe seven, eight win. games, uh, you know, as we move forward. Next, i got to go from one of my favorite linebackers, Jared Mayo. Yes. From the Patriots. You know, I don't really like the Patriots personally, but I respect them. You know, they have a lot of good players. He had a great game for them against the Bills. You almost lost. You know, it took a last second field goal there at the end, but you had twelve tackles, and that was the most out of all the you know linebackers and players, you know, obviously during that first game. Three assisted. Look for him to keep playing, obviously physical mm -hmm. with a lot of their players, and I you know, I would still say they're my Super Bowl favorite for the AFC. The AFC. I mean, yeah. I know Denver's great. But Peyton Manning has to prove to me that he can do it in the playoffs yeah, when it it's counts. It's hard to go against Belichick and Brady. Right, you got two masterminds there, even though they are getting older, but they are seasoned. Very yeah. Joe Cool, Joe Montana-ish with those players there. So look for them to keep moving forward. Next, I have to go Mason Foster. Normally I would shout out my guy, but his stat line was pretty good. I did mm -hmm. lose the heartbreaker with the Jets by one. He had seven tackles, 
two sacks and a forced fumble. Mm. Now, maybe if I would have had one more forced fumble or maybe one less bad play, Levante David, <laughs> then maybe I could have got that victory. But i got to shout you out. He is from UW here in the Northwest, so shout out to you. Nice and, uh, and then, obviously, last, i got to go Ryan Kerrigan. I think he might be my top two favorite player on defense, not on my team. I'm really jealous. This guy plays great every game. You know, he puts in a lot of effort. Seven tackles, he had one sack, and he had a forced fumble. I mean, can you ask any more? I mean, the guy's going to give you pick sixes. He's going to bat the ball away. He's going to get you big plays, and he, he brings it every game. Oh, yeah. And like I said, I know Marcus likes Brian Arakpo and a lot of these other players, London Fletcher, but to me, Ryan Kerrigan is their best player on defense, at least right now as we move forward going into the season. So next, that's pretty much all the players i got to talk about right now. Now we're going to transition, and we're going to go into games to watch, obviously, this weekend. I'm going to start off with college, and then we'll go to pro with Marcus. So for college, Oregon Ducks, you know, they're number two in the country. They're going to play Tennessee, and obviously Tennessee Volunteers are 2-0. and They played some weak opponents going into the game, but it is an awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would imagine it's going to be a pretty fun game, at least in the first half, pretty competitive. SEC mm -hmm. always thinks that they can beat the Pac-12, yeah. no matter who the opponent is. So uh, I imagine that will be a high-flying game. Ducks should put up maybe 50 or 60. I don't know how many points that uh, Tennessee is going to put up, but it should be pretty entertaining. But the, the game that I'm really, really looking forward to, even though I'm a Duck fan, oh, yeah. Texas A&M versus Alabama. In College Station, Johnny Football. Johnny Football. Let's sign some autographs. Yeah, you know, yeah, let's see what, what we can do yeah, here. Get some money. Oh, I didn't get any money. You know, but we'll see where that goes. But uh, Bama is legit. They're number one in the country. Their D is solid. C.J. Mosley. Mm -hmm. You got Ha Ha Clinton Dix. You yes. got plenty of good players there on the offensive side. Amari Cooper. Yes. You got T.J. Yeldon. Ooh. A.J. McCarron. And they got a plenty of offensive linemen that will go in the draft. So should be pretty competitive. I don't really know who's going to get the upper hand. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be the A&M offense that's ranked top five? Mm -hmm. Or is it the Bama defense ranked in the top five? I'm not really sure. Should be a heck of a game. And if you're not watching that game this weekend, um, you're, you're not a sport fan. you got to watch that game. That's a must-watch game. So, Marcus, for NFL, who, who, who are we watching this weekend? So, on the NFL side of things, um, first off, uh, we got to start with the Washington Redskins versus the Green Bay Packers. Now, I, you know, I'm not biased because, I'm, I'm, you know, it's my team. But this is going to be a, a very important game early on. Both teams made the playoffs last year. Yep. And you don't want to start off on two. No. So, it's going to be a big game, you know, uh, Green Bay, they got the best QB in the league. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Double check, Mr. Mr. Aaron. Mr. Aaron Rodgers. Um, they got a beast mode outside linebacker and uh, Clay Matthews, who, who's who's determined to, to hurt everything. Yeah, dirty player. player. <laughs> a little bit. You know, they got a nice uh, triple uh, threat receivers. You know, got James Jones, yep. Jordy Nelson, uh, Randall Cobb. And they got uh, Eddie Lacy back there, who had, who had a pretty decent game for them. Jermichael Finley actually came to play. I was like, yeah, no Carton yeah. team. I mean, but, you know, he's slowly getting better. I still... Jermichael Finley, too. Uh, you know, I need to see more from Me him too. before, uh, you know, I give you props. But their offense is potent because of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Um, now, for, for the Redskins, you know, RG came back. Was a little rusty. Second half, he, he got it going. You know, we lost to the Eagles. Shout out to the Eagles. Um Alfred Morris, you yeah. know, we got some things we need to correct. He fumbled. Yeah. Um, too many penalties. Kyle Forbath missed field goals. Yeah. But, again, neither team wants to start off on two, so that's going to be a huge game for you guys to watch. And uh, later on that day, we got the Denver Broncos versus the New York Giants. Manning Bowl. The Manning Bowl. I mean, what, what more can you ask for? You know, Peyton coming off the, the historical night that, that he had. You know, Eli coming off the three interceptions game that he had. Yep. So, you know, Brandon Jacobs is back with New York, yep. you know. So, they're going to be rocking out there in New York, uh, hoping to avoid going on to as well. Right. Shout out to Victor Cruz. Three touchdowns in that first week. You're one of my favorite players, even though you're not yeah, on Tampa. Yeah, shout out to Victor Cruz. I, I didn't get you in, in my, my, my top players of the week because, you, you know, I, I'll get you somewhere down the line. You know, you always there to make plays. I wanted to give a shout out to some, some other players. But you, you know, salsa. Yep, yep. Got a salsa dance for you. There yep. you go. You you know you're one of the best players in the league. But that's going to be a big game, man. So there you have it. Washington versus Green Bay. Denver Broncos versus the New York Giants. Um, that's our take on, on week one. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Marcus Hill underscore NWSF. And Orion underscore NWSF. Hit us up on Facebook.com backslash NW Sports Fanatics. And we want to shout out our sponsors and all the people that are obviously supporting us. Thank you. We appreciate that. Shout out to my man Banner Bob for the banner in the background. Hit him up at designshack.net. 
Also, follow us on Instagram at NW Sports Fanatics. I'm Marcus. This is Ryan. And together, we are Northwest Sports Fanatics.